questions that of course everybody is asking that are we under testing people for coronavirus in India and second will the private hospitals provide a free service or people will have to pay certain kind of money in order to get a test done well WHO just two days back mentioned that in order to hold and curb these kind of viruses and be sure of testing countries need to step up their game and get on extensive testing and while india currently has depicted in fact icmr has depicted that coronavirus in india is at its level 2 and might not require very extensive communal community testing hence the government even then has opted for community testing and yet uh, patients have been started to screen across communities in fact uh, according to data about 11000 total people yet have been screened in India but question is is that enough is that all and with limited testing centers right now should people be worried about this kind of scenario can you randomly go and get your checkup done is the question that's coming in and health experts answer this for us if we are under testing and second if the private hospitals will be providing a free service or people need to pay some kind of money or the government should help private uh, labs with some kind of funding bringing you all these details on mojo now what the icmr and the government has been doing over this time they have been doing a kind of escalation or a graded response and to see whether there is any community transmission they have uh, in the last two days that i know of uh, looked at thousand plus samples of people who came to hospitals with a flu without any history of contact or without any history of travel uh, abroad and 500 of those results are already available and all 500 came negative we are still awaiting the next 500 uh, that have been uh, uh, where the samples have been taken and we hope that uh, those 500 also come negative that would actually bolster the the uh, uh, you know uh, the belief of icmr that we are still not in phase 3 and we hope that comes right come what uh, may and be as it may in the we will really know the reality in the next about two weeks because if we get a cert sudden surge <clears throat> then we'll know that yes there was ongoing community spread which we did not catch and if it remains a curve which is gradually growing as what we've seen right. uh, from the beginning then we would know that community spread hadn't happened so we have to wait and watch and really if you ask me no one knows what the truth currently is but we hope that the government and the icmr are correct because that will mean that somehow we did the correct things and and uh, one has to give uh, government credit for the fact that they acted well in time mid january they started acting they started looking at uh, those who were coming in uh, checking their temperature quarantining them and uh, as the phase went on they, the contact tracing also has been very very good people uh, you know you read this on social media people who have had uh, doctors coming even on a Sunday to right. see whether they have any fever whether they have developed any symptoms and so if I mean I hope uh, uh, really for the sake of our country if our contact tracing has been excellent if these measures have been good then it may be that we were not under testing we were testing adequately and in case we get a surge and a spike then you know it would be that we were in under testing we still have to wait and watch there are others experts the other experts in epidemiology and virology who feel that in any case we should be testing much more and it cannot cause any harm and there are others who feel that private laboratories should be empowered to test and they should probably do that at cost price. Uh, the government, of course, has suggested they do it free. I don't know how much of that is going to happen. But the government can set a very low cost or reasonable cost for the test and enforce uh, that very strictly. So I think 
it's not for very long that we'll be able to avoid more testing. Uh, and the moment we have any evidence of community spread, it will be more or less mandatory to increase the amount of testing. There is definitely a cost to it. These things don't come free. The kits cost money. Uh, currently, most of them are going to be imported. And uh, we are given to believe that it would cost somewhere between five to 6,000 to do one test. That is the cost. Uh, the government uh, has requested uh, the private sector to do these tests free of charge. The private sector, on the other hand, has come back and requested the government that if the government were to provide kits to them free and also provide the samples, then they would be willing to do the test free of charge. And, and this is where the uh, uh, situation currently is. I think the need currently definitely, you know, uh, uh, with the paying capacity of uh, people in this country, I'm sure uh, 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 very few can afford a test which costs five or six thousand, even if one were to charge at cost price. So this is where the government will have to step in, will have to subsidize the test uh, because it's for the good of uh, citizens at large. And also the private sector has come back and said that CSR funds, which are uh, there available with the uh, both healthcare uh, companies as well as so many other corporates. The government can actually uh, uh, you know, bring in a new rule that those CSR funds can be used for testing and also subsequently for treatment of patients who are affected by uh, coronavirus. Even uh, multilateral aid agencies like USAID uh, and others have come forward. They may have some limited resources and even they can chip in. So I think uh, uh, definitely to ask those who can afford the test to pay for it would be wrong. Those who can afford to pay for it, the rich, the affluent, I don't think they will have any problem in paying for it. Uh, but again, I, I do believe that this should all be done overall under the guidance and control of the ICMR or the health ministry uh, the government so that unnecessary tests are not done. Uh, we, we need adequate number of tests. We need the correct people to be identified and tested and not just those who on their whim or fancy want to be tested just to know uh, 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 whether they have corona or not when their chance clinically of having uh, the disease uh, is uh, zero. So uh, uh, I think things are moving very rapidly. And I'm sure in the coming uh, few days, also towards this end, uh, the government has ordered, I believe, a million more tests, uh, which would be available very soon, and uh, uh, many more are being ordered. I hope that happens uh, quickly.